Chapter 1 Four miles outside of Fairbanks, Jim Galleon saw a hitchhiker on the side of the road and picks him up. He looked 18 or 19 and had a rifle with him. The hitchhiker called himself Alex, just Alex, and was 24 from South Dakota. He wanted to be dropped off at the edge of Denali Park to walk in and live off the land for a few months. Galleon noticed that Alex's backpack only weighed about 25 to 30 pounds and was not enough to survive on. At first, Galleon thought that Alex was one of those crazies who read about Alaska and then want to come up and have a nice piece of adventure. But as he talks to him, he realizes that Alex is pretty coherent and nice. Galleon is still concerned. Alex only packed a 10-pound bag of rice, doesn't have waterproof boots, and his rifle is only a 22, something only for small game. Alex has a map with a dotted red line called the Stampede Trail where he planned on living. Galleon tried to talk Alex out of it, but no matter what he said, Alex wanted to continue. Galleon asked if Alex had a hunting license. Alex responded with, Hell no. What I feed myself is none of the government's business. F*** their stupid rules. When they stopped, Alex tried to give Galleon his watch, comb, and 85 cents. Galleon said no, and made Alex take an extra pair of rubber work boots he had. Galleon gives him his number and tells him, When you get out, call me and give the boots back. Galleon also gave Alex two grilled cheese sandwiches his wife packed for him. The date was April 28, 1992. As Galleon drove back to Anchorage, he figured Alex would just get hungry and come back out of the bush. That's what a normal person would do.